Hello, this is Chris Menard. Let me show you how to do a mail merge with grouping in Microsoft Word. I took this from this article 294686. Here's a file. I literally copied it. I went to Microsoft Excel and I pasted it and I changed it just a little bit and added some more, added another city. So I got Atlanta, Houston, and Destin. I got employees and I got their numbers over here. It is known as Sheet 2 in my Excel file. I'm going to close this file. And to do this, it doesn't matter what version of Microsoft Word you're using. And this video is going to be a little long because I'm going to have to sit here and type this information right here. And if you notice, right above where I selected, it says you got to do Control F9 to get these fields in here. So I'm going to copy this. You don't have to do this step. I'm doing it just so I don't have to go back and forth. I'm going to go to Microsoft Word. and I pasted that just so I can sit here and look at it from here. So here we go. Mailings, mail merge, it can't be a letter, it's got to be a directory. Pick directory. I'm going to go find my Excel file that I just showed you. It was named Sheet 2 was the worksheet. Hopefully I have a Sheet 2. There it is. Click OK. So remember we pick directory, we pick Sheet 2, Go ahead and edit your recipient list. Make sure there are no blanks. And major here, click on the word sort. Because I don't care how it looks. You want to make sure you sort by what you want to group by, which for me is city. Hit OK. And now I have to do that Control F9 and type. So I've put bookmarks in this video down below so you can watch this. So here I go. Control F9. If, spacebar, control F9. Space equals, it looks like the number one in quotations to me down below. Spacebar, another quotes, control F9. That one alone is probably throwing you off. Right here, I'm going to press enter. I'm on this line right here. I'll put it in bold, show you where I'm at. So now I can click right here, control F9, and I'm going to type in set place one. I am not sure if these are case sensitive. I've always just typed them exactly this way. I usually have to do this for a hospital with uh, doctor information. I hope everyone's having a good day. It's a Friday here in Atlanta. I'm not sure where you're located, but I'm going to assume it's a Friday. That looks pretty good, doesn't it, so far? So that one's done. So press Enter. And we're going to do another control F9. If control F9. Remember, I got bookmarks in here. If you say I'll get lost, place two not equal to. That means not equal to what I just typed. Control F9. Oh, I did hit the space bar there in case you're wondering. Place one. And look, there's quotations. It's in italics now, right there. Do you see them at the very end? Okay, quotations. And then it looks like they pressed enter twice. So let's do it. Control F9 again. We're almost done, don't worry. Control F9 again. My keyboard's usually sitting somewhere else and I got it. So I was taking. I usually don't type this slow, but I will vouch that I'm a slow typist. Uh, let's see where I'm at. Quotations, space, quotations. Yep, Control F9.
and I'm type the same thing again. It looks like employee. Nope, spell it right. Spacebar. Control F9. In case you're wondering, I'm actually typing right here, right now. But I'm up here. Mine didn't wrap around yet. That's no big deal. Don't. Okay, that one's good. And it looks like we have quotations, and then it stopped. I'm going to show you this. That's where I'm at. Right there. When I say it stopped, like right where my insertion point is. So that one is good. So a space bar, control F9. And we're doing that set place two. Set place two space bar control F9 merge field city and close the parent so what we've basically said is when the city changes put in the new employee information that's all this is saying down here. So remember, I copied and pasted this. So this is absolutely no good to us. I'm going to delete it. And this is important. Go ahead and turn on show hide. And make sure you don't have any. Make sure you don't have this down below here. Because it'll screw this up. And when I say this, I'm talking about this. You don't have a bunch of paragraph marks. So let me get rid of those. I'll do them. One more. gone here we go mailings preview results is absolutely useless to you it'll do nothing so don't even click on it well you can click on it but it's still not going to do anything finish and merge edit hit ok perfect Atlanta hmm, not perfect the city didn't repeat appear again let me go back and take a peek at this Bookmark this at 740, right click. Toggle the field codes. Let's see what I'm missing here. Nothing. Probably something misspelled usually if something isn't working. Let me see here. Merge sequence one, merge city. Place one, merge field city. Place two is not equal to place one. That looks good. Uh, yes, place two is not equal to place one. If you notice, I'm missing merge field city. That's why the second city didn't pop up. So control F9, merge field city. Let me just go ahead and check the rest of it. Merge field employee. Quotes. Now we're good. So let's delete this. So that's what I was missing. Finish and merge, edit, hit OK. Voila, Atlanta, Destin, Houston. Close it, don't save it. If you wanna put a page break between it, this is important. Highlight it all, right click and toggle the field codes. Control A will select all two. If you wanna put a page break, I'm gonna click right here and I'm going to go the long way. Layout, breaks, control enter will do this too. Finish and merge. Hit OK. There's Atlanta, Houston, Destin, Houston. We're in good business. Close that out again. Don't save. Turn off preview. Toggle the field codes. I know I'll put my page break there, so I'm going to just delete it. So there you go. Long video. Check the bookmarks. But people were complaining that they weren't quite sure what I was doing. So hopefully that proves that you can do this. Thanks for your time, and have a good weekend.